Okay, today we're going to do a quick overview of Nextalk's Access Remote Interpreting Software Program. This is a software program used by doctors, offices, hospitals, clinics uh, to be able to gain instant access to interpreters for the deaf community as well as for non-English speaking individuals. Um, so the software program is installed on this machine. Here's the icon there on my desktop, so I'm going to click on that. I'm going to launch the program, and on the program we're going to see four options on the main page. Video Remote Interpreting, which is a video and audio call between two people. Audio Remote Interpreting, which is just an audio call, no video on this one. Translation Localization Services is obviously a service allowing you to submit documents, forms, brochures, things of that nature, which you would like to have translated into a different language. And then Scheduling an Interpreter is pretty self-explanatory. That's just an option to allow you to, to schedule an interpreting session for a later date. So let's start with video remote interpreting. Again, video remote interpreting allows us to have instant access to interpreters for not only the deaf, but also for limited English speaking individuals. And it's a video and an audio call to that individual. So on the first page, if I have a preference on gender, I can select it. If not, I leave any. These are all the different languages that are available in the VRI format. So all of these connections, all these languages, all these calls would be either a, would be video and audio as we connect. In this case, I'm going to do a test call for this demo. And these three fields are designed to allow you to capture information that comes back to you in your monthly reports. So uh, instead of staff ID, this could be you know staff ID, so staff name, patient ID, department name, location name, whatever. You can customize these to whatever you want them to be. And again, whatever you ask us to capture, whatever information you want us to capture in these three fields is the information that comes back to you in your monthly reporting. We can see from the red font that all three of these are required, so I put test in here. You can determine which of the three you want required. Click next, and that'll take me to my ability to choose my interpreter. Now if I don't have a preference, I can just select first available. In this case, I want to talk to one of the employees here at the company, Cody, so I'm going to identify him specifically. Click place call. And now what it's doing is, is, is the, the software on my machine is talking with the server, our video servers, our, our remote interpreting servers, and they're negotiating a connection between myself and Cody. And they're looking for packet quality, packet loss percentages. And it's looking for um, firewall traversal and that kind of stuff to make sure everything's okay. So once the server establishes all that, it then kind of gets out of the way and allows Cody and I to talk. So you can see it's routing the call. Now it's calling and connecting with Cody. His picture will pop up here. Hey, Cody. Hello. Um, and as you can see, I can adjust the volume on this. I can mute the video if I want to and, and temporarily block the video feed. Uh, down here, I have chatting sessions for capability. So if I want to chat with uh, the interpreter or if the interpreter wants to chat back with me, um, they can do that. But uh, this is a... Uh, also has the ability to be able to have multiple people on the call. So you can see here if I want to chat with everybody on the group or just Cody, uh, I can invite other people to be part of the session and we can have multiples. So once I'm done, I click hang up. It, uh, it closes the session between the two, captures all that information, date, time, length of conversation, captures who the interpreter was that I spoke with. All that information gets captured and is included in your monthly reporting. And then if I click Close Session, that'll go ahead and take me back to the main page. Auto Remote Interpreting is very similar. With Auto Remote Interpreting, however, as I mentioned earlier, we're only doing an audio connection between the two people, not audio and video. And as you can see, the language is available for the audio connection is pretty extensive. There's a lot of different languages that you have an uh, option for when you're doing an ARI call. So the, the use of ARI in, in a lot of hospitals and doctor's offices, they have something called OPI, over the phone interpreting, where you would use a phone to be able to connect to a, sign, or a spoken language interpreter for all these different spoken languages. This is just another option. This gives you the ability to do the same thing via a software program instead of having to go to your phone. So it keeps it all in one place. You have one program where you can do both your VRI um, calls with uh, patients as well as what has traditionally been OPI calls, you can now do as an ARI call on the software program. So that's the Next Talk Access Remote Interpreting Program. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to go to our website, www.nexttalk.com. 
and you can check out uh, more product information, documentation, specific system specifications, things of that nature there. Thanks.